Hello, I'm Solazar, and I want to welcome you to Destination 101, the podcast of District 101 Toastmasters. Monthly, we'll discuss topics of interest to Toastmasters and to those interested in Toastmasters. If you're not familiar with Toastmasters, I encourage you to visit district101tm.org to find out more about District 101 Toastmasters. From the time we're born, the adults around us help us develop functional skills. We, we get potty trained. We learn to walk. We learn to talk. But often we aren't taught how to communicate. And in Toastmasters, we help take our ability to talk and turn it into communication. As Toastmasters members know, we're the organization where leaders are made. How does communication make us leaders? Well, let's go back to the beginning. It all started at the YMCA in Bloomington, Illinois. Dr. Ralph Smedley, the educational director, began a program of meeting management with the presentation of speeches. Professional businessmen in the area heard about this club and began attending. They chose to call it a Toastmasters Club. Now, Dr. Smedley observed that improvement in our speaking presentations added increased confidence in other activities and improved leadership, which is why we say we are the organization where leaders are made. Now, there are over 16,000 Toastmaster clubs worldwide in over 145 countries. 143 of those clubs are in District 101, which stretches from Mountain View to Monterey. Our member clubs provide supportive, positive learning environments, allowing each member to develop their communication and leadership skills at their own pace. And I I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a leader. I don't have a title. I don't have a supervisor manage a team. I, I don't have a corner office or a reserved parking space. Everyone is a leader. I realize some folks are more comfortable following the herd without a thought. No pressure, no responsibility. Do you know what else they're doing? They're living without joy. Being a leader means knowing who we are and expressing who we are appropriately in all situations. Now, since July 1st, a new Toastmasters year began. It will run until June 30th, 2024. Now, at the same time, Toastmasters clubs have elected new officers to help set a direction and serve the club membership for this term of office. Now, these officers are members who are stepping up to see what type of leader they are and to learn what type of leader they can become. I served 21 years in the United States Marine Corps. I'm what's known as a Mustang. I went from the enlisted ranks to the officer ranks before retiring. In the Marine Corps, when someone is promoted to a new rank, they aren't promoted because they've shown that they can do the responsibilities of the new rank. They're promoted because it's believed they have the potential to perform the responsibilities of that rank. It's the same in Toastmasters. We elect people to serve as club officers because we believe they have the potential to serve in that role. It doesn't mean they have proven the ability for that role. We're a learn by doing organization. So we learn to perform in that role by doing it. We provide guides and training and mentors so members don't have to walk alone. They learn to take their own steps and grow their own leadership. And I find it exciting that members step into these leadership roles. For those who've stepped up to take the challenge of being a club officer, congratulations. The question for everyone listening is, what type of a person are you? And what type of a leader is the person that you are? And how do you plan to go from where you are to where you want to be? Now, during July and August, District 101 has been 
offering club officer training for those newly elected club officers. And while club officers are encouraged to attend, any Toastmasters can attend the training. And the training is a great way to get a better understanding of the Toastmasters program, not just the role of a club officer. And even those of us who have served in officer roles before gain valuable insights and knowledge by attending the training because there's always a different group of club officers who are in the training with you and they share their experience and everyone gets to learn to be a better leader. Toastmaster provides a safe place to practice our leadership. Now, there's a mistaken belief that we learn from success. Nonsense. We learn from our mistakes. We learn from our failures. And Toastmasters is where we can practice and fail in a safe environment. We look at what we did that worked and what we did that didn't work. And then we don't repeat that mistake. And that's how we learn. My Toastmaster failures become personal successes. And my personal successes become Toastmaster successes. We operate with a set of essential core values, integrity, respect, service, and excellence. These values are the foundation of our participation and our agreement to support each other. The Toastmaster CEO, Daniel Rex says, the entire Toastmaster program depends on the integrity of each member. With our core values, not only do we provide an opportunity to grow and develop our leadership, we offer the opportunity to do it morally and ethically. And as I mentioned earlier, our leadership improves through our practice and the development of our communication skills. Through our opportunity to visit other Toastmaster clubs, our opportunity to meet Toastmasters from diverse backgrounds, our opportunity to practice our service to assist others, we also learn empathy. And empathy is our ability to understand or feel what another person is experiencing. The best leaders are empathetic communicators. The best leaders are self-reflective. And the best leaders are always seeking ways to express themselves. Max Dupree, past CEO of Herman Miller and the author of Leadership is an Art and Leadership Jazz shared that leadership is good work because leaders feel a strong need to express their potential and because they wish to serve the needs of others. Leadership is an expression of ourselves in the world. Toastmasters provides regular opportunities for each of us to continually grow and expand our leadership, our expression of ourselves, and our expression of the best we have to offer. If you don't already belong to Toastmasters, I encourage you to Google search, find a Toastmasters club to locate and visit a club near you. If you are a member of Toastmasters, I thank you for your contributions. For continued opportunities for training, please check d101tm.org to find out about our club officer training, our special Toastmaster Leadership Institute on August 25 and 26, and other great events that provide additional areas of knowledge and training. And remember, Toastmasters is where leaders are made. So let us help you move from your present into your tomorrow. And until our next podcast, remember, always be who you are. Thank you.